Hey guys, my name is Brian Brady with the Lancaster Archery Academy and we wanted to go over with you how we're going to be scoring at this year's Lancaster Archery Classic. Let's take a look. When you get in the building, look for signs that are going to say registration. Follow them. That's going to bring you to registration. Once you're there, you'll be able to check on in, you'll confirm your division, your scorecard, your name, all those fun details. Once you've confirmed that, you've picked up your swag bag, you'll be able to move on to the main ranges there where you'll be able to see your target. Once you get to your bale, you'll be able to then find your scorecard there and hang up your target face and your name tag. Now what kind of target face that you end up hanging up, that might change depending on your division. If you signed up for a compound division, then you're going to be shooting a three spot target face. For recurve and bare bow divisions, you selected what target face that you wanted to shoot during registration. You'll be able to hang that up at, the, at your bale once you get there that day. Once you've got that 40 centimeter target hung up on your target bale, make sure that it is in the correct orientation. When you look at your scorecard and your quiver tag, you're going to see your assignment labeled as A, B, C, or D. That's going to be how we're hanging our targets up on our bales. A is going to be the upper left, B is going to be the upper right, C will be the lower left, and D will be the lower right. Make sure to hang your target accordingly. If you're shooting a three spot target face, make sure to number those spots one, two, and three in the order that you're going to be shooting them. You'll then abide by that for the remainder of the tournament. When you're scoring your arrows during the competition, if you're shooting a three spot, you'll score those arrows in the order in which they were shot. If you're shooting a single spot target face, you'll score those arrows from lowest to highest. Scoring is a little different at the Lancaster Archery Classic. If you hit an X, that counts for 11 points. Make sure to note that on your scorecard when you're going to be going through this, but if you're shooting a three spot, it's gonna look like this. You'll have your X ring, which counts for 11 points, and then 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Anything outside of that would be a miss. On our single spot target face, you have your X ring again for 11 points, and then 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Anything outside of that ring would be a miss. When you're scoring, you're going to have your paper scorecard, and you're going to have an electronic tablet. Remember that the paper scorecard is official. The tablet has to match whatever is on the paper scorecard. On this tablet here, it's going to also show you the order in which you shoot. So it'll have A, B, C, or D. That's how this is going to run for the first half of qualifiers. After end 10, after we're done with that first half, we're going to swap positions. So the archers who are shooting on the bottom of the bale will now shoot on the top, while the archers who were shooting on the top of the bale will shoot on the bottom. For instance, if I was shooting on 57A to start the event, after that half, after end 10, we would put new target faces up and I would be shooting on 57C for the remainder of that qualifier round. When we're entering arrow values into the tablet, you'll want to make sure to click on the archer who we're calling arrows for. And that's going to bring up whichever end that we need to enter in for. So you would select the relevant end and then you'll be able to see all the different values that you can enter in. If you're shooting on a three spot, remember to enter those arrows in in the order that they were shot. So we could have 11, 10, 11. If I was shooting a single spot, those arrows would be entered in from lowest to highest. So I would have 10, 11, 11. Once those arrows are entered in, hit that green check mark to submit the scores, and you'll then be able to move on to the next archer. When you're writing your arrow values down on your scorecard, sometimes mistakes happen and we get it. Maybe you misheard it. Maybe you just wrote it down too sloppy and you want to redo it. Whatever the case is, make that correction immediately and then have everybody on your bail initial the correction for that arrow value. That way we can confirm that that arrow change is valid. Once we're done scoring, make sure to have all those scorecards completed so you have all the boxes filled out, all the math is done, they're all signed. Importantly, you've made sure that the scorecards match the tablet. Scorecards are official, so if there is a difference, then we need to change the tablet to match the scorecard. Come as a group you know, to the scorecard collection tables that are located in the center of the range underneath the mezzanine. The LAS staff members stationed there will be able to confirm your scores, make sure they match the tablet, and then they'll send you on your way. After the Friday at 4 p.m. qualifier line has concluded and we have been able to verify all of the scores for the entire event, we'll be able to see who is making the cut to move on to the eliminations Saturday morning at 8 a.m. We'll send out an email to all the archers who made the cut for their respective divisions. 
That email is going to go to the same email address that you used when registering for this tournament on Archers, so make sure to be checking that one. It'll have your target assignment in the email. We'll see those archers moving on Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Thanks for watching our video. Hopefully this gives you some context for what you're going to see when you arrive at the Classic. If you have any questions prior to the event, please reach out to us. If you have any questions while you're at the event, find an LAS staff member. We'll be wearing event t-shirts. You'll be able to see us very easily. We can't wait to see you there. Happy shooting.